According to the World Health Organization, by 2050, almost 2.5 billion people are projected to have some degree of hearing loss, and the impact of unaddressed hearing loss can significantly affect a person's role in their community. In this week's Technically Speaking report, Gio Insignares shows us how one local company is using technology to try and create a future of accessibility and inclusion for everyone. He's here with us in the studio right now. JC Eric, in addressing those impacts, the WHO cites communication, cognition, education, and employment as potential aspects of life that can be affected if help is not provided. Today, you're going to meet two people trying to provide some help and make sure no one feels excluded. Communication is key. That's the phrase we've always heard, but it's not so easy or even inclusive for everyone. If you're promoting inclusion, you have to make sure that you're also like, including the sex ability. So it's very important, you know, like that you provide, you know, like someone at least the basic things. Um, that they need. Saida Florexel and Akriti Gupta are the co-founders of Imanico, a South Florida-based company focused on bridging the communication gap for the deaf and hard of hearing. The name is a combination of the Swahili name, Imani, meaning faith and belief, and Co, standing for communication and connection. Essentially what we wanted to do is a holistic, uh, provide a holistic experience to improve communication. So someone can not only be part of it, they could participate in it. That participation comes with the help of Coda, the company's product. It's a real-time transcription technology that assists deaf and hard of hearing people during in-person group conversations. Coda works by using a group of AI models built from scratch to work behind the scenes. One converts the audio in a conversation to text, the other is breaking the audio down by speaker. Technically speaking, this is called speaker diarization, which is the process of taking an audio recording and separating each individual involved automatically. Now, as someone who can hear, we, can, we know who, where the audio is coming from. For someone who is deaf or hard of hearing, they don't know. Coda is a web-based app, so there's no need to download anything in order to use it. All it takes is a device connected to the internet to access the site. We were able to use it during our conversation with Coda detecting speakers in the flow of the talks and separating them by color and number. Yeah. Gupta and Florexel say they've seen positive feedback so far, but it's still a new frontier of sorts, building something for a community that doesn't normally get a lot of attention. They love the concept of technology, but they've never had technology built for them. They've, it's been technology that's built for the rest of the world but it doesn't work well for them. While it might not be the only transcription technology available, Imanico hopes to show that its passion toward inclusion and accessibility is the calling card that makes it stand out. It's also a chance to highlight the message that no one should be left behind because of a disability, ultimately providing everyone an opportunity to be a part of the conversation. You know, my younger self would be really proud of myself, you know, to be like, oh my God, do not have this. And I also think about, you know, all of those things I messed out, you know, and I'm like, you know, I could help the next generation. It's a hard community to build a product for, but I think it's all that much more innovative, promising, you know, really motivating to see, okay, if we can build something for them that they'll use on a daily basis, we know it's worth it. Coda officially launched under its new name in May and has since been upgraded a few times, including a real-time note-taking capability and a format for users to personalize the experience. The product is only available in English right now, but the plan is to work on AI models specific to different languages and expand it that way. In the studio, I'm Gio Insignares, Local 10 News.